Hello, everybody! Welcome back to our channel. I hope our vlog can bring you some holiday happiness in those sweet little moments with family. As we all know, this week we are going to Covington, Louisiana, and this weekend will also be full of luck and change. So let's just dive in today's video, shall we? Since um, this time was in Louisiana and it's right next to our state, um, it only took us around five hours to drive there, I think. And at this time, the festival also hosted at downtown area, so we definitely did double check at the setup time before we leave. And we're really glad that we did that, cause this time the setup time was also 6 p.m. on a Friday night. Uh, so the good thing about this setup time is we really don't need to leave home in the early hours and we don't need to rush ourselves on the road either. Well, yet the bad thing is I have to film everything in a sort of dark mode. I mean, ever since um, we switch into a daylight saving time, everything kind of goes dark right after 5 p.m. So there's no way I could get away with this situation at all. And well, it's life, you know, sometimes you just got to deal with it. But the lucky thing was our spot for this time happened to be under a street light. So we still got a little bit, little bit of tiny light anyway. And I could try to film something. So this is definitely a better condition than Houston setup process. I mean, back then it was completely dark. So that's definitely our first um, lucky thing during this uh, weekend. Alright, here is the final layout for this time and uh, since this will be our very last three stops um, for this year, so we really trying to show all of our pieces at this time. And my dad also painted some small pieces as well. And um, well, I want to say I'm pretty happy with this layout for this time. And it can definitely be my favorite top three layout for this year. So you guys can also comment down below to let me know which layout is your favorite. And also, all the pieces are available at our website at a subscription box down below. So you guys can also check it out. So the second lucky thing was when we drove down there, it was pouring rain the whole time. I mean, it was raining when we leave, and it was raining when we drive. But it just happened to stop once we arrived. And I was so worried that we might need to set up everything in the rain and I might catch a cold or something. I actually don't know where this feeling comes from, but I can somehow feel it in my guts. But anyways, um, I remember once we entered that little town, uh, the rain just gradually stopped. And once we find out our spot, there's just simply no more rain. So we were just so lucky for set up our booth within some dry and warm clothes and so my brother also can come uh, with us too so I can still enjoy a little break and don't need to work very hard anymore. So sometimes when it comes to um, a moments like this, I was really glad that I have a brother who could help me but sometimes just sometimes i literally just hate him from my guts <laughs> so well so i think this is just um some kind of relationship that every siblings can understand so i mean am i right just back me up with this okay <laughs> As always, um, a little more info about this festival. So this festival is called Three Rivers Art Festival and it's hosted at Downtown Covington. 
So、um, the historical downtown district of Covington takes art seriously and is home for、um, numbers of galleries representing the region of best arts.、Um, so it should come as no surprise that the town's annual Three Rivers Art Festival held each November. Also, it's serious enough to carefully jury、um, the 200 artists invited to participate in an event、um, that takes over several city blocks.、Um, the result、um, is a vibrant celebration of art. The works in every media are represented in the booth lining both sides of Columbia Street.、Um, so the art media's are、um, paintings. Of course, <laughs> photography,、um, fiber art,、uh, woodworking, metalwork, sculptures, jewelry, and of course more. Though Louisiana and the Gulf Coast are very well presented, artists come from 28 states, from as far away as Virginia, Missouri,、um, Arkansas, to participate in this fun and high quality art festival. So I definitely, I personally think this is definitely a high quality art festival because we did、um, pretty well in this、um, weekend. So if you happen to be、um, an artist has the same media with us, this will be definitely、um, a good spot for you. And the dinner party was kind of nice too. I mean,、um, it was、um, outside with lights.、Um, And everybody was having a great time there.、Um, the food was great、uh, too. So overall, the whole event was definitely a high quality event for sure. So the third lucky thing was the weather. Even though we got no more rain, but it's still cloudy and kind of cold too. I personally really don't like this kind of weather. I mean, maybe for some people they more like cloudy weather because it's cooler. But I really like.、Um, but I really enjoy a sunny weather. I mean, a sunny weather just makes everything looks nicer and prettier. So especially for our paintings, a sunny weather is definitely a big plus. And also, if you are working with glasses works,、um, a sunny weather also helps and makes your pieces shining more, right? Anyways,、um, this weekend was definitely full of luck and grateful and wonderful moments for us. I mean, since this. Is our first time participate this festival, so I was kind of unsure and a little bit excited about this one.、Um, unlike our last weekend at Ocean Spring, I kind of knew and pretty sure we would do great over there because that event was recommended by a lot of people and has some awesome reputations and stuff like that. So I wasn't really that worried about. Um, that festival at all, but、um, we didn't heard about this show before, and this was our first show at this area too.、Um, so for me, this was just too many possibilities and odds that I couldn't control, and that's always tends to give me anxieties.、Um, so yet, gratefully, every possibilities and odds turned out to be something wonderful and amazing. So we ended up had our second best show, I think. So for us, this show would definitely be on our coming back next year list,、um, and it happened to be very close to either Fairhope and or Ocean Spring. Ocean Spring. So it's literally just the perfect spot for us,、um, and this time is also.、Um, Uh, working as well, it doesn't、uh, collapse with other、um, shows either. So,、um, if it's possible, we'll definitely come back next year.
All right, here is all for this weekend's vlog. So for next weekend, we are going to Gainesville, Florida. Oh man, I feel like I haven't doing any shows at Florida for years. Well, anyways, I am all excited about our next trip. So if you feeling the same, please subscribe at our channel, and I'll keep you all updated. See you there. Some figure pudding. Oh, bring us some figure pudding. And